Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Ray, and today I'm going to do a video that's been requested by a lot of people since this case has uh, not gotten the coverage that I feel like it deserves. Um, you know, from time to time, I represent the uh, like a voice for the people that uh, don't have a voice, and uh, there's this beautiful young lady that um, was found dead, um, and she's hasn't gotten the the circulation or the press coverage that perhaps Gabby Petito got, you know, when her case went nationwide. Um, and I'm talking about Lauren Smith Fields. So um, all I know is just, I'm going to read you a little bit. So those of you that are tuning in and don't have uh, an idea of who I'm talking about, basically she was this uh, beautiful black young lady that um, they found dead in her apartment in, on Plymouth Street. Um, and apparently um, the family has filed a petition or intends to sue the police department. Um, but basically they feel like it's racially insensitive to the family, the way that the family has been treated. It's violated their civil rights. Um, according to the police report on Smithfield's death, a man she met through a dating app called Bumble um, called police just after 6.30 a.m. on December 12th when he reported waking up and finding her on the floor and not breathing with dried blood around her nose. Now, medical personnel announced Smithfield's dead at 6.49 a.m. and said she had been dead for at least an hour, according to the police report. Now, the woman's family who are planning a march to City Hall, okay, um, um, basically that's exactly what we know. She met this, apparently, I believe this was, uh, I'm not sure if it was a white man. Uh, I don't, you know, not that it has anything to do with it. I guess it does too, regardless of the race of the person that, um, that she met. Uh, you know, she, the fact that is that he's the one that reported finding her, you know, dead and he was with her. He, he's the last person that would have been with the body, right? So um, I don't know if they've already done the autopsy or what they found. I'm just going to give you the tea of what I feel. Um, they said, the Smith family said that they became concerned when they um, they sent, she wasn't answering text messages and went. they went to her apartment in Bridgeport. By the time they got there, she had already been dead for more than a day and her body had been taken from the apartment all without their knowledge, okay? So... This is really, really um, weird. I'm gonna look at her photo. Um, and like I said, she was studying, she was very smart. Um, and when I look at her, like I don't feel this uh, bad energy. I don't, um, I don't, I don't feel like this bad energy from her. I feel like she was a very charismatic young woman. I feel like she had life fully ahead of her. I feel like she had goals. Um, I feel like she wanted to go places. And I just feel like I don't even pick up addictions with her. Now, I know that a lot of people may say they know her and they start blaming, saying that maybe she was a cokehead or something like that. But I don't. Now, I'm looking at the guy that apparently who was her date. And I believe he is a Caucasian male. I could be wrong. Um, and he is, I mean, he's not bad looking, right? But um, I get, you know, weird vibes from his energy. Uh, not because of his race, of course, but because there's just something about him that I, I don't know. I just feel like there's more to the story than what we're being told, okay? Um, so I'm not sure if they're going to ever like pursue that. And again, all of this is allegedly and for entertainment purposes only. I have to state that again. Um, this is all, of course, we know that I do channel from spirit and a lot of the what spirit comes through with is, you know, is real. So I'm going to use my tarot cards as well as my gift to see what comes out. But first, I'm going to um, I'm going to go ahead and put my laptop to the side. I want to pray. Father God, we lift up Lauren. Um, Smith's family, um, Smithfield's family up in prayer and her soul. May she find peace and may um, her family be protected from any further harm. So just praying in God's name. Amen. All right. So I'm just going to turn some Palo Santo. I like to clear the energy because it is a heavy, heavy energy when we're dealing with a, a case such as this. Uh, it is, um, yeah, let's just say that it's 
very intense energy. So sage myself, sage my trusty rider weight again, and my oracle cards that I'll be using. I don't use um, reversals, like I don't read reversals. Okay, let me just cut this off before the fire alarm starts going off. Whew, we're smoking up in here. <laughs> okay, got it. Um, hope everybody's doing well. And thank you for those of you that have suggested that I do this case. And again, I'm sorry that um, for those of you that are like, just get to the reading already, get to the reading. Patience, patience, patience. There's a lot of, um, I feel like skeletons in that guy's closet. I feel like he was doing this to all, um, like he, he was hooking up with other women as well. In the past, I feel like there is some, um, like a he puts on a good guy kind of thing. I'm not saying that he's guilty, but I'm also saying that there are issues that he has. And I feel like um, Lauren was just, like I said, very carefree. I feel like she just was wanting to be happy. Yeah, she's young, you know, so she is going to drink, you know, but I don't see her like, you know, heavy drugs and doing all that kind of stuff. I just don't see it with her. Um, okay, so the first card that I have here is the lover's card. So I think that she was falling for this person. I, I don't know what they're how long they communicated, <laughs> but the lover's card here was like, this is like a relationship. They're talking about what she wanted. She wanted to be, I think, with um, someone that was a little older than her that um, would have, you know, eventually like um, supported her or like, um, not that she won because she was smart. She was going for, I believe, like a degree. But I feel like, um, again, there's talk about love. Oh, the way that she viewed this hookup or this connection or situationship was a lot different than the person who she was with that found her, that supposedly allegedly found her. Um, the three of wands, it's like, there was a lot of promises that were made to her. So I don't know what the text message conversations were or if police have even like investigated this and like kind of like, the, you know, I feel like there was a lot of phone conversations and maybe some text messages, but mainly phone conversations. I do feel like he has money. I don't know, the King of Pentacles comes up. So there could have been like some promises that were made. I feel like, again, he has an image to maintain. Um, it's what I'm getting, you know, so a lot of people are not going to necessarily suspect. Um, and I feel like there was an argument with the Five of Wands. So uh, despite the story that he fed the police, despite what he's saying, I feel like there's a lot more that happened. I do not believe, first of all, that he was asleep and that he woke up and found her like that. I don't believe that, not for one second. I actually feel like there was an argument that took place and Spirit is speaking very, very strongly. Five of Cards is like a struggle. It's like having to defend yourself. That's the energy of the five of, I'm sorry, of the um, seven of wands. I'm sorry, I said five, the seven of wands that I'm getting. The full card though, is like telling me that she was kind of like, um, taking a leap of faith with this relationship and wanted to trust him. So she was very trusting of this person uh, enough to meet up and have like, you know, a relationship in person. The 10 of cups is what makes me feel like what he, he was, um, was wanting. It was more of like a happy family, but this is like more in the future. Um, I don't know if he has like um, a partner or he has like a, you know, anybody that he was talking to, but I feel like there was promises that were made. And I think that she was very, you know, uh, enamored by him. Um, this person is like the nine of cups. It's like a, a very powerful person, like a person that has, you know, contacts, a person that knows people, a person who is kind of sitting in, its, in his power, it's wealth, uh, it's money. So I don't know if she was going after wealthy men or if she knew that he had money or if he has, has any money or what he actually told her. I feel like what how he presented himself to her is sort of like catfish. It was not exactly exactly what she may have thought. You know, and again, I know that people are going to say, well, she's not naive. You know, she's a 23 year old. She's not naive. She's not going to go into anything without even knowing. But um, 
I feel like, again, there's a lot of hard work that was she was putting in to this relationship because this is all about this um, situation ship, this whole thing that happened to her. Um, and I feel like, again, just money. So I don't know if he was like trying to give her money or there was something about money uh, being given because there's a lot of pentacle energy around here, which for me is like money. We have the king of pentacles. We have the seven of pentacles. We have the four of pentacles. For me, it's all about that. And then we have here the emperor, which tells me again, that he was the one in control of this situation ship. Okay. Lauren was not in control. He had been around the block several times. Like he knows what he was doing um, with her. But again, I do feel like there was an argument. There was something that became very unhinged spirit. Can you give us some more clarification this is the four of swords this is like represents uh a resting period this represents almost like i don't know if he had like at the last minute some or she had some like she wanted to pull away from the relationship or the situation ship like she was having her doubts but he convinced her in some ways to be with him but ultimately what it symbolizes like there was this period of pulling back or wanting to pull back ace of wands is a very sexual card remember the wands represents the male phallus so this was definitely there was a lot of sexual chemistry i like i said he's pretty attractive i feel like she was very 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 attractive herself very beautiful uh young lady so like when you have two people that and you know they're very beautiful i'm not saying it's based out of looks but i feel like there was this chemistry that that was there um, which is the ace of wands. Um, the page of wands was like kind of her energy was like just going for it and not thinking, you know, there would be any repercussions, but you never really truly know. That's the danger with these dating apps. You really never truly know who you are dating. The page of cups was like something new being offered to her. So again, I feel like there was promises that were made, um, promises, things that were, that were said to her that kind of put her in this daydream type of thing. But the King of Swords is somebody that is also very rigid. Um, it has to be their own way. Sometimes that can be even a little manipulative. It's somebody in power. Usually it like represents, I'm just giving you all an explanation, like a lawyer or doctor, someone like that. But it's somebody that usually is always has to be right. So I feel like whatever argument they had, it was like he had to be right about something. Um, and then we get the will of fortune. So the truth is going to come out. I do feel like the truth is going to come out about what really happened. I do not feel that she suicided herself. I do not feel like she overdosed herself. I literally do feel like there was some foul play in this, um, you know, and maybe he was into things that we were later going to find out. There were some decisions to be made around money. Like, I don't know. Again, it's just like, it's some, the two of pentacles is like, uh, money coming in, money coming out. That's how I interpret it, at least in this reading. It's like this power struggle um, that was going on. Uh, and then ultimately, look, the Ten of Swords. So this is telling me like this is like somebody that is backstabbed, betrayed. So again, it's almost like a farce. However, whatever went down, there was an argument or a disagreement and led to her being pa like passing. But uh, again, they're not going to necessarily you know, release the details to the public about like anything that they would have found. Um, because again, uh, I feel like there's something about like a, a cover up here. The Knight of Pentacles, it was like uh, money being given, but there's definitely foul play is what I keep feeling. Yeah, she did not see that she was blind and i think she kept her family out of the loop i don't think her family would have approved of this and if, had she told her family they would have actually like i i don't know if she kept her private life ser like secret but if they would have known they would have intervened i don't think they would have approved of this the queen of wands is a mother energy for me it's like her mom so i don't know if it's a mom or like sister or like somebody that is older but i feel like an older female is just not having it um and i feel like again there is some money here so i don't know if the family has already gotten money or they will they will be getting money is what i feel from this um but i do feel like again manipulation the magician is like a trickster card typically it's like somebody that has all the tools available to them they're well-rounded as a person but there's this is also for me can symbolize trickery and i do feel like the, with the ace of pentacles and the magician they're saying here that there was some foul play and there was some tr trickery some cover-up not everything is appears as it seems um appears as it seems uh, on the in the news look and the nine of swords is his current energy so 
he is not sleeping well. There is a guilty conscience. There's something that he knows that he's not saying. Again, I don't buy the story that he fed police or the story that was told. And there's working hard to cover it up. Okay. And the Hierophant, it's like other spiritual people see this and they may see the foul play too. And he was in a relationship with somebody else. The third um, the three of cups usually is a cup of, I mean, a paint, I'm sorry, a card of celebrations. In this case, I feel like as we're talking about a relationship, this is a third party relationship. This is him, another person and Lauren. So again, there was like another person that he was talking to the page of swords. Yeah. I feel like all this is indicating that, yeah, there's going to be a lot of communication. There's, a, there's been a lot of communication. There's going to be more, there will be closure for the family at some point. I do feel like the truth is going to come out because I feel like there are other women that um, may come out and talk about him publicly. Not that he's, I'm not saying again that he's guilty, but I do feel like there may be other people that will come forward at some point. Um, and I do feel like there'll be more that comes out. I'm going to pull from the, um, through the, through the eyes of the soul oracle deck i love this deck and uh we're gonna pull some cards and see what else comes through from spirit and i'm so sorry that her family has had to go through this this is so tragic and i can't even begin to imagine um the magnitude but a lot of women and men even men face dangers every day through these dating apps you have to be careful that's why i say it's always good to meet someone in person because you never know you know what they are up to a lot of people post to be something that they're not and i'm just going to tell you be careful with people that want to whatsapp you um, through these dating apps, you know, the WhatsApp you or asking you for any, if, or they immediately go to like, you know, salacious pics of themselves, you know, uh, sexting as you want to call it. All that is red flags. That's not true love. You know, authentic relationships don't start off uh, trashy and, you know, scummy like that. They start off, uh, you know, and everybody can have an opinion about that. But in my opinion, true love doesn't come out like that, doesn't start off like that. You know, that's too forward. It's too soon. And I think there's a lot of people that live and thrive in that, you know, and may have no problems or qualms with that. But it's not the way that I know I personally would want to be treated. And it's a lot of, it's not the way that a lot of people with self-respect and um, class would want to be treated. Um, okay, so I have here plant the seed um, of a new template. So I feel like, again, there's a seed of doubt that um, perhaps a story that was given is not adding up. And there is going to be further um, truth coming out. Sacred journey, a pilgrimage. So I feel like her soul is on a journey right now. And I feel like she is with her family. I feel like she is trying to give them comfort. And I feel like, again, she's trying to make peace arise from the ashes of despair. So again, there is uh, this sensation where he feels like, or this feeling that he feels the guy that found her supposedly or allegedly feels like he's going to come out of this dark period. Um, but I feel like, again, also her soul is mourning a piece of like, she knows that her life ended very, very quickly. Uh, run wild for a while so again there's this feeling like he's wants to uh, run or escape this kind of thing you know from his his life because it's it's going to haunt him um purify your surroundings so again purification i feel like you know this whole whole case is just full of toxicity and lies and manipulation um i do feel like that's a more of a message for the family is to not get uh, too worried about uh, full full of anger or lower vibrations. Yes, it's normal to feel like that, but the truth will come out. Justice will be served. A deep secret will come to light. Look, I cannot make this up. I literally pulled this card out of the deck. Didn't I tell you? I'm, I'm telling you, like a secret is coming out soon. There's going to be truth. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I hope you can see it. That's that card. And when I pull, it's spirit pulling through me. And then we have here love with an open heart. I don't think that she was loving. She loved him with an open heart. I think it was manipulation on his part. You know, I feel like whatever she was given was manipulation, but I do feel like she had an open heart and she was ready to, for true love. She wanted that. She wanted an authentic relationship, but sadly it ended the wrong way. So again, I am um, sending angel hugs to the family and to 
uh, everybody, all of her friends, and to all of my rays of light who suggested for me to do this reading on Lauren Smith Fields. Again, I'm so sorry for um, the passing, and I hope that this kind of gives some some peace and some closure to this beautiful young lady who did not deserve to go out like this. All right, many blessings and love and light. If you have any suggestions on any further videos, you can always um, leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, I'm, do, I am running my February uh, Valentine's uh, video, I'm sorry, my Valentine's cell on video readings. This does not include emergency readings, but my video readings are on cell. I'm actually uh, booking now into the month of April, 2022. Too. So if you are wanting to get a video reading, it's like a Zoom one-on-one. -on -one. Um, basically, now is the time to get in. Um, if you are looking for more of like a, an email reading, those are still a five to eight week turnaround time. Usually it's much sooner than that. But um, yeah, I just wanted y'all to know. Um, anyways, blessings and love and light. I love you guys. Stay safe.